Philadelphia Baseball History presents Phillies MVP reliever Jim Constanti. When you think of great Phillies pitchers, certain names come to mind right away. There's certainly the trio of Hall of Fame pitchers Steve Carlton, Robin Roberts, and Jim Bunning. I am sure some of you think of more recent dominating Phillies arms, like Cole Hamels, Roy Halladay, and Cliff Lee. If you reach back 20 years, you can come up with Kurt Schilling and Terry Mulholland. Still more of you can remember the likes of Jim Cott and Chris Short. But who can remember the only relief pitcher to win the National League Most Valuable Player Award? For that, you have to reach back to the 1950 Whiz Kids and a former phys ed teacher named Jim Constanti. Hailing from Strikersville, New York, Constanti was a sports star in his high school and with Syracuse University. Signed by the Reds, Constanti played three seasons with their AA affiliate, the Syracuse Chiefs, until he was called up in 1944. That year, he went 6-4 with an ERA of 2.80. Constanti played one year with the Braves and then lingered in AA with the Toronto Maple Leafs until the Phillies acquired him in 1948. Pitching in 74 games in 1950, at that time a record, Constanti posted an ERA of 2.66. He won 16 games that year and earned 22 saves. And this was in an era when teams did not employ a specialist to come in the ninth inning as their closer. Constanti was one of the main reasons the Phillies won the National League pennant and the right to challenge the Yankees in the World Series. With starter Kurt Simmons called to active duty during the Korean War, Philly skipper Eddie Sawyer trusted Constanti to start Game 1 of the World Series in Shide Park. Constanti pitched eight innings, giving up only one run, but the Yankees blanked the Phillies one to nothing. Constanti then appeared in relief in two of the remaining three games, pitching six and two-thirds innings in Game 4. In total, Constanti posted a 2.40 ERA over 15 innings in three games. Constanti pitched for the Phillies until 1954 when he was claimed off waivers by the Yankees. He never returned to the dominating performance of 1950 and was eventually signed by the Cardinals for his last season of 1956. But die-hard Phillies fans will remember Constanti as a key piece to the 1950 Whiz Kids, only the second Phillies team to win a National League pennant. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future.